Well, next, Ken Wilshire takes us west to a town officially named Collierville. Although for years it was known as Train Town, maybe because the town square practically sits on the railroad. Well, these days the rails aren't quite so busy as they used to be, but a downtown restaurant is a place that's helping keep that train tradition alive. This is the historic town square in Collierville, Tennessee. Freight trains and passenger trains used to roar down these tracks, carrying people and goods to all parts of the Mid-South. And it's customary for a train to pull a caboose. And as we all know, cabooses are painted red, just like this one here on the tracks. But across the square, over on Mulberry Street, there's a silver caboose. It's the Silver Caboose Restaurant and Soda Fountain. And while it's really not a caboose and there may not be a conductor anywhere around, you can still hear the sound of all aboard when the doors open to experience true Southern American cuisine. Hi, how are you? How many? Okay. The Silver Caboose was founded by Bob and Mary Jean Smith in 1996. There's nothing trendy here, according to Mary Jean. It's all about tradition, family, and really good food. Collierville needed this kind of establishment, and it get, food business gets in your blood. It either does and it doesn't, and nothing can make you like the food business. You just, it's got to be natural. And so I thought, well, that'd be kind of fun. Little did I know <laughs> at that point, but it's turned out very well. And we cook like, like our customers say, like Grandmama did. And people just aren't doing that anymore but they want to eat it. They don't want to cook it, but they want to eat it. So I think that's been our secret. We use the title Silver Caboose, and then we have, instead of a blue plate special, we have the silver plate special. Then we have our, we say our silver ceiling, it's really tin, but uh, it's just kind of a catchy name. We use a kind of train theme, because Calliable's a train town. Mary Jean's daughter, Julie, is the general manager. She oversees the daily operations seven days a week. She takes pride in her pies, pastries, and food, and clearly understands what differentiates the silver caboose from all the rest. But when she started, she only planned on helping out for a couple of weeks. I just got attached to it, just the customers and just the work and the people in the kitchen. We're all like family. Everything's prepared. We start at 7 or 7.30 in the morning. Everything's prepared from scratch. We cut up all the vegetables and, you know, I roll out all the pie dough and bake all the pies. And we put the rolls out to rise about 8. And, you know, most places you, they don't do that. Everything, they, they come in about 9.30 and open cans and bags. And so I think that's what people like about here. It's my passion. I never thought it would be, just because I never was in the restaurant business. But once you get here, it's like, I guess it's like an addiction. It gets in your blood, and you just, you want, every, you want everybody to be happy. You want your customers to be happy, and you want everything to taste right and look good. And, you know, it's mainly making the customers happy. Food is very well prepared. It's very fresh, and I just love the atmosphere. We are a close family at home, and walk in and see Julie with a smile on her face. Julie's daughters, Anna, Mary, and Ellen, all help with the operation while attending college and high school. So when they say the Silver Caboose is a family restaurant, they really mean it's a family restaurant. We couldn't operate without all the family members. You just, and I think it gives a feeling to the customers that they're part of our family because our customers are just, they're the best people in the world. The sidecar market adjoining the dining room is filled with freshly cooked specials of the day and frozen meals off the menu for takeout along with Julie's pies and pastries. From the model trains and the tin ceiling to Bob Smith's beautiful fragrant homegrown roses that adorn the restaurant from May to October, it's simply a dining experience you won't soon forget and you'll want to keep coming back for more. And remember we said it's the Silver Caboose restaurant and soda fountain. It's one of the few remaining soda fountains in Tennessee. The favorite fountain drink would probably be the chocolate soda, just because you can't get that many places these days. Um, our milkshakes are all hand dipped and um, made the old fashioned way, so those are of course very popular also. Very good. Lunch and dinner are special events that just happen here at the Silver Caboose like nowhere else. 
They happen because of family, tradition, heritage, passion, and love for their customers. And when it's time for the check, they thank us like they like they just came to my house for dinner. They said, "Oh, thanks, Julie. Thanks, you know, like they're thanking us for eating, for them spending their money to eat with us." It's like they just came to my house to eat, and I cooked them a big meal.